So 89 came about because I was looking for a change in my life. I was in corporate my whole life and uh, I was trying to determine what I wanted to do. And I got to thinking and I was like, 89 is an amazing road. It has the mountains, it has the lakes, it has national parks, it has all my favorite things. And I was like, I really think that I can make a brand around 89. And I looked into it, Googled everything about opening a store, what do we do, how do I start a business, and uh, lo and behold, started um, 89 uh, in December of 2012. It's completely a family operation. My sister has like a design firm and she does all of our design work and helps us with all the branding. And then my son Ethan has really been with me from the get-go. And then my daughter as well, she does all of our social media for us and she works in the stores as well. So yeah, truly a family business. During COVID, um, when we all had to shut down, um, one of the local merchants came through and um, and put rainbows on all of the, the, the storefronts. And uh, to this day, I still have it up. A lot of us still have it up. Um, it just was like, everyone, we're in this together. We'll get through this. So, you know, we closed down from March and April. And at that time, we didn't know what was gonna happen. We didn't know if we were gonna be closed for two months, for six months, you know, as everyone, it was just kind of this shock. Luckily, we had a website um, already in place and we'd always wanted to increase traffic. And so then it was like, all right, now's our time. And so we um, figured out so much of how to get more traffic and our revenues just went way up. And it was just, you know, it was kind of the silver lining that we were able to, you know, say, wow, we spend money the money comes back and it was just like we kept on spending a little bit more and a little bit more and we kept seeing the revenues come back and so it was a huge learning curve so that was definitely kind of a, a great thing about um, having to pivot. I knew that when we started the brand that I wanted to have some some unique um, or some great organization to give back to and so I did a lot of research and the Tao Fund was really one, the one that came to mind. And they do so much to help the area uh, maintain the beauty of the lake, maintain the beauty of the forest. We have developed a number of programs with them. One is we have um, all of our Love Blue apparel. We have a program that's for every piece purchased, we give a dollar back to the Tahoe Fund. We also have a bag that all the proceeds go directly to the Tahoe Fund. Um, we just try and support them and, and, and drive awareness for them. You know, we have been talking about opening a second store for literally seven years. I had a good sense that there were a lot of people moving here. Um, there was a need in the market for um, a different kind of home decor, um, a little more modern, um, a little more sophisticated than what was up here. And then just in October, um, a location became available that was just three doors down. It's lovely, beautiful interior. And I was like, wow, this is, something that we should take advantage of. And uh, so we went ahead and opened um, the home decor store in December of uh, last year. Well, Lisa Gotts, the owner of California 89, uh, thank you again for joining us today. So if you think out, you know, two, two years from now, three years from now, and, you know, obviously in this environment, everything's up in the air, but, but imagine two, three years from now, what are your hopes and dreams for the business? Well, you know, I want to continue to grow our online presence. I mean, that's always a top, top priority. Um, and the second thing I want to do is is really start to manufacture more of our own um, product. I really want to bring it closer to home and really kind of, you know, drive that, you know, that we're a local business even more so. You know, I'm always uh, inspired when, you know, our small businesses talk about their local community. I know, you know, the, the Tahoe area has been hit quite Quite hard this this past summer with the fires. I know, um, uh, you know, you've you know just said that you have a big impact on um, starting to build locally and and uh, you know start to source locally as well. So we'd love to help you out. We're a, a values driven company. Um, one of our values is we care and give back. And so within our communities, we're trying to give back as much as we can uh, and helping small businesses. So what we'd love to do is is actually purchase $5,000 of your merchandise uh, and give it out locally into the community, if you're okay with that. Uh, and make sure that, you know, folks that are in need, um, you know, become brand ambassadors, but also make sure that they're, uh, you know, they're well taken care of. So we'd love to do that for you um, oh, and support your business. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. That's just really awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations again. Thank you for being a tremendous uh, inspiration to our teams that, you know, jump out of bed every morning, uh, supporting small businesses just like you and trying to figure out how to how to help you be successful. I mean, that's that's the mission that we're on. And uh, um, it's great to be able to chat with you today. So thank you for taking the time, Lisa. Oh, I so appreciate it. Um, really, this is it's so generous of you guys. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome.